talking about online trading, especially with Robinhood. And of course, we're going to have some Wednesday wisdom from Peter Tuckman because I'm sure a lot of the guys talk about Robinhood here on the floor. You hear some positive and probably some negative comments about it as well. So Peter, my first question is, what is Robinhood? How did we culminate this online trading platform to be popular? So look, I th what, there's, there, I don't think there's any, anything particularly great about Robinhood, I'm sorry to say. But I love the fact that, look, historically, your grandmother, your father, somebody used to have an account, owned mutual funds back in the day before people really got involved with trading their own money or involved in the marketplace. And now, so, and I'm a big proponent of educating young people to invest in stocks, not in stuff. That's one of my big premises. So I love the fact that there are other opportunities. Robinhood apparently is just, a, it's an online app. It's a free commission trading thing for people who have some certain savviness with the market, right? It's not robotic ad financial advising. It's basically a shortcut way through an app without brick and mortar to invest in the market, right? So there's no advising, there's nothing like that. They do have a couple different opportunities. You know, I, it's like driving, being getting into a driverless car. I, if I was an investor and not a trader, I'm not sure that that's what I would use. You know, I, I, I just think I'm not a big fan of the technology. Now, I heard there's some cracks happening in Robinhood. What did you find out, Peter? So what we're seeing is, Taking that into account, the investigation that I've done today, as it turns out, what happened, why you even bring up the Robin Hood story is that somebody found a way. So you, you go on Robin Hood, you put money up, you can buy stocks, you can buy some ETFs. There's no advising going on. It's an individual who knows what the market brings, what, how things work, and they're willing to commit capital to it. What somebody did find out is there's a way to hack Robinhood and to get margin. What does margin mean for the people who don't know? That means if I put up $2,000, one way, normally, legally, you can invest $2,000, put up $2,000, you can buy through $2,000 worth of stock. Margin is a way that you set it up. It's for more big money people or people who are actually traders, where you put up two. $2,000, and depending on your own assets that you have or your worth, you're actually to margin out that 2000 10 to 1, 5 to 1, so that you have buying power of that much more money than you have. Well, somebody hacked into there, ended up getting 100 to 1 margin on their $2,000 investment. Whatever it was, they bought. They they decided they would be smarter than the market. They ended up buying puts, which is a short bet on Apple prior to earnings. It went incredibly against them, and now they owe Robinhood $150,000. That's the story I just heard. But obviously, so there are ways to hack into systems. There are ways to do things that aren't particularly legal, and there are ways to get in pain. All that being said, all that being said, I'm a super proponent of. There's a new thing called fractional investing, right? And there's Acorn, right? I think Acorn is something really worth discussing. So think of Acorn as your grandfather's change uh, cup on his table. Every day you go out, you buy a coffee for. $3.59, you round it up, that $0.39 cents goes into account. When it becomes $5, they invest it in the market. That makes sense. That's fun. It's a curated account of people who are not that involved in the market to really get themselves intrigued and want to invest. Okay, so wait, you just mentioned fractional trading. What exactly is that? Fractional investing gives you the opportunity to invest $50 in the market in a curated fund that will give you five or ten dollars worth of Amazon, Facebook, Google. These are thousand dollar stocks. You buy a sliver, a fraction of the stock. The way they do it obviously is a complicated coding experience where they do it for a lot of people and they end up buying round lots of stocks, you end up getting a sliver. But you're getting exposure into a stock that's a high flyer that you may like, whether it's Amazon, whether you're a fan of Facebook, whether Apple, whatever it is, that you may not be able to afford to get involved in it. That seems like a better idea to me. The Acorn thing is a great way to get people intrigued by investing in stuff. Right, so if you're an investor, you know one of the one I think one of the most mature things that any financial advisor will tell you is, the money you're going to invest in the stock market, you need to be willing to lose, and that losing it 100% will have no effect on your future lifestyle going forward one or two years because the market is gambling. Let's be clear about that. If you can't afford it twice, you can't afford it at all. In the words of Jay-Z, isn't that cool? Well, thank you. Jay-Z now. Yes. Exactly. Giddy up. Thank you so much, Peter. So that wraps up some Robin Hood gossip here on the New York Stock Exchange floor. That's Peter Tuckman with us every Wednesday.